Ah, you're back again, eh, young swab? So, you say you want a bit of an adventure. Oh, looking for a treasure, says you. You'll need a map, says I. Let's work together and make a treasure map worthy of a pirate crew. Ho <laughs> ho! Now, if when you've buried the treasure yourself, you're going to want to draw a map so that you can find where you hid it. And if and someone else has buried that treasure and you're going to try and dig it up, you're going to need their map. So, I like to sail online and try and find something in the web verse. I found this lovely treasure map here. But, hmm, the paper doesn't seem quite right, does it? seems a little bit too clean and modern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this paper, we're gonna make it into ancient parchment, just worthy of a pirate crew and a vast adventure. So strap yourselves in, matey. Here we go! All right, once you've printed out your map graphic, you'll want to give the paper a bit of texture. I'm going to fold my map a few times as if it's seen a few pockets or lived in a drawer for a while. Don't be afraid to really crease them folds. That's nice. You might prefer your map rougher so go ahead and ball her up a bit. That's good. I might add some wrinkles to my folded map. To make it look aged, you can press it with a hot iron. Place it between two sheets of clean paper before you do. Now, let's prepare your stain. I'm going to use six tea bags and boiling water. If you have instant coffee handy, that works fine too. It'll make your paper really dark and dingy. Next, put out a large flat pan to help soak your pages. Pour the tea into the pan over the paper. You can experiment with using a brush, sponge or a rag to move the tea around. I finally decided just to move the pan and slosh it out. Let the paper soak in the color. If it's too soggy, it'll rip. Now, if you pour off the tea, you can dry your paper either by baking it at 200 degrees for just a few minutes, or use a blow dryer, or let it dry in the sun.
This next part is optional and uses fire. So if you do this, get help and be safe. You can use a candle or a long lighter. You just want to singe the edges and you'll have to snuff out the flame quickly. It's a nice effect, but more than a little dangerous. So here's my end result. You can see one of the printouts faded a bit. Again, this is something you can experiment with. All right, me hearties, we got our map. Yeah. And we've got our bearings, so we'll be able to find our uh, treasure no problem. Alright, so I'm glad you're here. I hope you had fun making your treasure map, and I uh, hope you were safe. Don't forget that uh, every day can be an adventure, and today I'm going to get on my ship and go sailing off and find this treasure. Alright, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.